Hello everyone, this is Felipe, o Gato de Salto, and today I'm here at a friend's place to show you how I personally record and teach my samba classes online. So come with me and find out. Okay, so just like you probably already know, the world stopped because of the coronavirus and there's still many people locked in their homes or in, you know, in areas that are still submitted to quarantine restrictions all over the world and there's still the need of teaching online classes, of taking online classes or of training together if you are a group of friends or a group of dancers and you have a show company. So this need is still there. Um, now, I've been trying myself to teach my classes online for almost a month now, and I had all variety of scenarios. I taught only with my, my phone, with Wi-Fi connection, trying to use, to put the sound little speaker box close to my phone so the music would be captured and, you know, transferred to the people joining my class. So I tried many different things and I can say that finally I found the best option, the one that really works 100% where the sound is perfect and clear and not hacked and so is the video of the choreography and the class. So I'm very happy and thankful that after so many trials I finally found the best option. And today this is what I'm going to show to you, all right? So, um, it's funny because I know that there are so many other teachers and so many other trainers all over the world um, offering online classes, but when I started offering and when I was like, okay, it's time for me to start, it's time for me to find out how to keep my people engaged, I couldn't find a lot of information online. Like I, I had the classics, oh, you can use Zoom, you can use Google Meetings, you can use Skype, whatever, but there was no profound information about how to do it and people are very protective and restrictive about their, the things that they find out themselves um, and I understand that but I don't agree with it I think like especially in times like this sharing information is very very important to keep everyone well and sane and so yeah that's I have a very extensive explanation why I decided to make this video. So I hope it is interesting for you. If you do have a Samba teacher or a Samba trainer, or if you train together with your friends or whatever, um, tell them about this video, send them this video, the link to this video, or you know, share these ideas with them so we can all keep practicing, stay united and strong in our Samba worlds, okay? Um, also, don't forget, if you really like this video and if you like the content of my channel, don't forget to leave your thumbs up under this video and, of course, to subscribe to my channel so you know that there's another video on the way out to you. Okay? Good. So let's have a look at it. Here are the things that you actually need in order to be able to teach online. You need a computer, um, you need a modem, like the basically a Wi-Fi internet connection, but I'm going to show you something more tricky about it. You also need a LAN cable, so a network cable that is going, you're going to connect from your modem to your computer. Okay, I'm going to show you that. I think it's easier if you see. And um, for this purpose of this video and for, in my opinion, you also need a Zoom account. Now, um, there are restrictions about Zoom if you're teaching up to half an hour more or less. But if you actually want to teach longer, uh, which is what I do, you can actually sign up for a membership. It's quite affordable, quite easy, and gives you great features like, for example, actually recording your classes and uploading them directly to a cloud. So you can actually share that link with people who are not able to attend your class or your training live so they can actually stream it anytime. So I highly recommend that. <laughs> I should get paid by Zoom. <laughs> So this is my friend's computer that I'll be using for the Zoom class today. As you see, I already have Zoom running, um, but I just wanted to show you um, right here. She hasn't got any slots 
for the LAN cable, so we needed to purchase an adapter for it. And we got one of these LAN cables. Um, I think they're called LAN cables. They're just the regular internet, uh, basically, um, cable that you, you need for your modem. So I'm ju you just need to connect this to the computer. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Eh, no, I can't. Anyway, you got the idea. So yeah, on the one side, you've got this cable connected directly to your computer. And on the other side, you've got it connected to your modem. So this is where our internet is coming from today and going straight into the, com into the computer. Having the cable connection, as I just showed it to you guys, is actually going to ensure that your connection is the best it can be. And it's going to guarantee that your music is going to be live and, you know, it won't, won't be hacked so will your 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 video like the, the you know you dancing so this is very important of course you can teach via wi-fi but really i tried and the cable just works wonders all right everyone so here you see my zoom desktop oh, no, what am i what am i saying don't don't listen to me when it comes to technical stuff but anyway you see my zoom browser here and my screen of the screen of my computer so I'm actually going to go now to host a, me a meeting with video on, okay? Um, this is just whatever it would have, I would have done anyway in case I already had rescheduled a meeting for all of the participants of my classes. So he is asking me to use the app, so I'm going to open it in the Zoom app. They are already pre-downloaded onto my computer. All right, so now you see me. And this is my Zoom meeting already. So you see here in the corner, Zoom meeting. And down here, you see all the commands that I have when I start a meeting myself. So I can mute and unmute my microphone. My, there's the video, I can stop it and, and restart. Here I can let all the participants come into the room. There's a chat. And here, uh, there are the two most important things for me and for this video. One is the recording option that you can record directly onto your cloud, onto the cloud that Zoom offers you when you are a member, which is very, very convenient because whenever someone cannot join the class live for whatever reason, you can still send the link and that person can stream the class or the training section. Session. So that's thumbs up for that. Love that. And over here you have share screen. So whenever we click onto that share screen option that I showed you here in the bottom of the page, um, you are going to get a new window. This is the window. And well, I'm already apologizing for the quality of the video, <laughs> sorry. But anyway, you will want to go into advanced over here and then mu uh, music or computer sound only. Okay, this is the one you want to select and share. This will guarantee that whenever you're sharing the music, that the music, whatever is played in your computer, through your computer systems, is going to go straight to the computers of the people watching your class or doing your training sessions. So this guarantees the best quality of music. So now that I already did activate that function, I'm just going to go ahead to whatever music program I have open and um, play the music from my playlist that I would have played in a class situation anyway. So iTunes or whatever you use, uh, you just open and play and people will hear it directly on their homes and on their phones and tablets and computers and everything. So this is perfect, yay! <laughs> All right, so basically I already showed you on the screen um, the things that you can do to guarantee the best quality. Uh, I am going to teach my class now and train and I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> so if you want, of course, join my classes, but not just keep practicing, stay sane. This is the most important thing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.